need to remove the default web page that was installed when you installed IIS. Open the root folder form the shortcut you made on the desktop and cut and paste all the folders form there and pass them in the new folder on your desktop for safekeeping. You don't have to keep them but if you delete them they are gone and you will have to reinstall IIS to get them back. It is finally time to add your files, folders, pictures, movies, music, etc. Add your files to root folder and refresh your browser. I have made a few, and show you how the server lists them and the different choices the client will have. To get your external IP address go to www.withismeip.com It is free and very easy. This is what you need to be able to access your server form outside your local network.
Whoops, what happened? If you notice the file extension was .iso, .iso is not listed in the time types folder. Being that it is not listed, I ISO sent know what to do with it. So let's add it and give to another try. You will also need to do the same for MP4 files. This concludes my tutorial on installing IIS in Windows 7. I hope that this was easy to follow and helped to take the confusion out of the process. Please look for more tutorials on securing your server setting up user accounts and whatever else I can't think of. Thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment.